Hello, my name is Patrick John Mills. I am an artist and a poet. Today I'm going to go over and share with you. Uh, I'm working in my studio and I'm starting a new series of paintings titled Life is Beautiful. This is a five foot by 12 foot canvas. And I started off with using acrylic and wall the acrylic on the sub on the foundational layer I put a lot of acrylic paint down but while it was still wet I mixed it in with gesso I wanted to have kind of a slippery background but also absorbent and that was something that uh, I was experimenting with here I'm using a palette knife and now I'm starting to work with my final layer in oil paint I use a tremendous amount of paint. Here I'm kind of building up the layers and I'm going on a horizontal as well as previously I was doing a vertical just to give a sense of calmness. Here I'm being a bit of a goof and I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, yeah, I'm just being an idiot. Don't mind me too much, just having fun. And um, in the middle, on the left-hand side, I started off with a white. In the middle, I had a yellow. And to the right, I had an orange. And then to the very far right, I had more of a red, a lizard, crimson. And that was just to give like a sense of progression. But yet, in the middle of the painting, the centering of yellow, that was something I, I kind of... I go through a, a ton of paint. Uh, I just love the tactile kind of quality of the paint of oil. You can get these blending and these layers and this marbling that I just absolutely love. Um, I just love painting, to be honest. Um, here you'll see the yellow in the middle and then about three quarters of the way through, you'll see a more orange. And those are really kind of the underpainting parts. And then I keep building it up and building it up and I keep working the whole canvas all at once. And I'm just having, trying to get the, the horizontal and the vertical. Those always have a certain amount of calmness to them. And then later on I bring in a diagonal kind of movement with this uh, green composition in the bottom left hand corner but I'm just constantly keep working and developing and using large there I'm using my actual I'm grabbing paint from the canvas and moving it around and kind of using the actual painting itself as a, as a palette, to be honest. I wanted to share what I was part of the process and just kind of invite you inside my creative space. And then my wife, 30 minutes after I finished this five foot by 12 foot painting, she walked in and video recorded what you're about to watch. Thank you. Baba, Baba, what is this behind you, Baba? Uh, this is, um, for the past 16, 18 months, I have been trying to kind of figure out a new language and how to make the paint move and dance and shimmer as if I'm walking into a dream. I was thinking, this one in particular, I was thinking about um, Michelangelo, you know how they have in the Sistine Chapel and it's the creation in Lutkova? Yep. The God's on the cloud and he has the finger and he's holding that know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Uh, I forget what it is. It's, I was thinking about how that energy comes 
and how two souls, how two kind of like, it's like this, this energy of prayer that's like comes up and this, this energy, this spiritual energy comes through like a dream, like you're, and so during the night when I would have to get through ICU and through adding, just taking that energy into my soul, I, I started doing these paintings, how to radiate positivity and how to heal and how to bring that. And, and I was trying to think of how, just love, just thinking of how to bring love into my soul and how to bring that, that life force into, and how to communicate that uh, as a painting. Well, you have communicated something here, Baba. I really I... wanted the rhythm of like, when you close your eyes and you, when you close your eyes and you see that light kind of shimmer be behind your eyelids inside of you and how that energy just kind of translates into a vivid dream of energy and movement and like a, a wave, like, a, like the current and the abundance of the ocean and the gravity of the soul between two bodies and how it kind of walking through a rainbow. It's one thing to see this from a distance, but what I wish we could <laughs> offer like a virtual reality video of this yeah, because it's... honestly, it's an experience. And the colors, if you get close up, on it, you just keep falling in and in and in because there isn't a spot that isn't... It, you really have to be... Um, I, I used a, a, a massive amount of paint, of oil paint and just complete abundance of it. it. It's not uncommon like that it's over a, a, like a thumb thick in many, many places. And the whole thing is extremely textured. Um, I just love paint. You're still in the land of creation, eh? Cause I can tell you're- Yeah, I'm you. not really here. I, <laughs> I get completely fall into this. Uh, well. it's, uh, I will just back up a little and give one more shot of the whole thing, but yeah, it's, it is, uh, it's two pieces. Each one is five, five by six. Yeah, it's a five foot by 12 foot painting. And I, I purposefully wanted there to be two canvases, not just one huge one, because I, I wanted that, that sense of the, the meaning of two. Yeah that the, the division and how they, they integrate and amalgamate into each other and how there's a fusion of energy between two souls of, of love. Well, you got it, Baba. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much, Baba.